I got a tweet from Derek who told me that my California map back here is driving his wife crazy. Ever since, I guess last week when I was setting up my Mimo sign, I, I hit it and it knocked it askew. So he asked me if I would straighten it out. So this is for you, Derek's wife. Unless it's really what you wanted to do was see me break a hip this week. I don't know. I'm not, <laughs> let's see if I can straighten it out. What do you think? Does it look, look about straight? Okay. <laughs> There you go. Do you want to build a book ends? Doesn't have to be a book ends. <laughs> What's up, Mimos? Did you know there were some book ends videos posted yesterday? I put them all on my website, so there's a whole list of all of the people who did who did bookends videos. It was fun. It was uh, Jack Howling. He, I don't know if you remember if, a month or so ago when he came and he visited my shop. And he talked about that then. That was his idea. He said, let's do something where... And he was inspired by the, the mallet. Remember the week where there was like three or four guys who all made mallets? And it was just purely coincidence. <laughs> and so he thought it would be fun if, if we did the same thing again. And that's what happened. That's how all that came to be. But it was fun. I got to use my scroll saw, which I don't use that often. I really should try to come up with more projects where I get to use it. Because every time I use it, it's a, a lot of fun. And that's my old scroll saw that was my dad's he bought it new i think in like the early 50s or something so it's a it's a little wonky but it, it still gets the job done i was expecting more people to ask me why i titled my video scroll sawed bookends rather than scroll sawn <laughs> actually only one person i think asked that question well i just think that the word sawn is just kind of becoming archaic. It's sort of quaint to, to say it, but I, I think in general if people are doing a search for something they would say sod and, and not sawn. It's kind of like lane. Lane is still in the language, but when's the last time you heard somebody use the word lane? <laughs> it's kind of like VHS. I'm gonna go freestyle here and take the camera off the tripod and I can show you my scroll saw. For those of you who haven't seen my Oops, <laughs> this is probably a disaster. For those of you who haven't seen my scroll saw before, and actually my lathe, I keep them both right here. Here it is, and you know, I don't know really what else, what to say about it. This is the little plunger deal. I'm not really sure what you call these things, but it ha you have to put the, the blade in. On this side has a screw, and on the other side there's an Allen wrench, which is stored right up here. So it's kind of hard. You got to put it down in there and then tighten it down. Um, I've got a motor here. This is also <laughs> the original motor with it that I just changed the speeds with a pulley. But I never changed the speeds on that really. I keep it pretty slow. It seems to work out best. And I just take that motor and I've got it. I hook it up to this little platform here which I put on the side. That's kind of hard to describe. Um, and that, that's how that works. And these are my lathe chisels. This is the uh, lathe that I have that kind of goes along with the, the scroll saw. And you know, there's not really much to a lathe, so it's, just, it's kind of one of those tools. Actually, a lot of woodworking tools are tools that there's nothing wrong with buying an old tool because really not much has changed. You have you know, something that you can hook a motor to and cause something else to spin, and <laughs> that's all, all that is. But I'm not very good on the lathe either. I never really have a lot of projects that require the use of a lathe. If I need to turn something, then of course I would use the lathe. Otherwise, I don't think that just doing a project, just for the sake of doing it on the lathe, would hold a lot of appeal to a lot of people, except for people who have lathes, which <laughs> not a lot of people have lathes. Lathe is an, is an expensive woodworking tool. It's really a luxury, I think. We just got our book in for the Marin County Fair, which I try to enter something in it every year. If you remember, if you watched the show last year, you'll remember my Defy Authority chair, where <laughs> I had people writing on a chair, which was part of the exhibit, because most of the exhibits, almost all of the exhibits don't allow you to touch. And so I was encouraging everybody to touch my exhibit and to write on it and mar it and use your keys and scratch it up and do everything. And the thing got covered and covered with graffiti. It was, it was really cool. So I wanted to try to do something new this year. We've been kind of going over some ideas of what to do. And I, you know what I thought would be cool, but, and I just don't think it, it could be implemented. I'm not really sure how it would be, is it would be <laughs> the, the disappearing chair. And so it would be made up of all sorts of parts, maybe, and there'd be a sign there that would encourage people to take a part 
off and to remove it. And so by the end of the you know four or five days of the fair, the, there would be no chair left. It would be completely gone. <laughs> I think that would be really cool, but I'm not really sure how to do that. And, and also just to keep it from just becoming a huge mess, I, I don't know. So I, I think I'm kind of abandoning that idea and, and we're now, we're working on another idea. <laughs> I've already shot this week's Mirror Mini. Make sure you tune in on Tuesday, no, yeah, yeah, Wednesday is when I post my mirror minis. Um, and it's a project for kids, for little kids that you can do with them, especially if you're asked to teach a woodworking class for maybe four or five kids. I know I had to do that a few times when my son was really little for the Cub Scouts and for, I think for his homeschool group and a couple of occasions. And it is not easy to try to keep a handful of kids interested in woodworking. The key that I learned is that you really don't want to get teach them technique too much. That most of them are not really interested. They just want to just get in and get out and they have no attention span so keep them super fast. So it's on a mere mini and I think it's a project that if you have kids you may want to do it. It might just give them a taste of woodworking. Hopefully that's enough to inspire them to continue and do more woodworking in the future. I want to thank everybody who's been sending in their questions for my Ask Me segment too. I'll have another one of those this week. Well, there's a lot of questions. I've got them all printed out here so I can easily go through them and answer your questions. Movie recommendation. You know what I saw last night? I saw Machete Kills. <laughs> that Robert Rodriguez film with uh, Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo is great. I, I just love him. He always plays that angry, mean, tough character. This was the best, most over-the-top, completely crazy action film I think I've ever seen. It was just so unbelievable and so outrageous, but it was great. And I think it's kind of a, a film for film lovers. If you, if you grew up watching films from, say, the 70s, and especially a lot of these older exploitation films and grindhouse films, there's a lot of references to the, those films. And it's just a lot of fun. So, yeah, Machete Kills and frozen. I got all of my tomatoes planted last week, so I've got six, I think I've got eight tomato plants this year. I've got some back in my vegetable garden and then I've got two of them up in my raised beds. I'm gonna see if I have better luck this year. Last year I didn't have very good luck with my tomatoes. I don't, I don't know what was wrong. I think I was, I don't think I was watering them very well or something. But anyways, I amended the soil really well and I hope to get a lot of tomatoes. Love tomatoes. Well, I guess that's all I have this week. Thank you all for watching and thank you for su supporting Woodworking for Mere Morals. I, I really appreciate your support and I will see you on this show next Saturday. Bye.